everybody. Welcome to this month's Guitar Tips. What, uh, what I want to talk to you about today is uh, something very basic, something that we all, I tend to show pretty much everybody in the first lesson. Um, and it affects you whether you're a, a beginner or you've been playing for years and years, uh, even a professional. Uh, sometimes, um, you know, pros even have problems with this. Um, and that is this thing right here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the pick today. And um, I'm not getting too heavy into uh, exercises and things like that, but I just want to talk to you a little bit about um, how to hold the thing. Um, now, I know we've all been through this, but sometimes it's, it's good to have a little bit of a reminder. So, despite what you see a lot of your friends doing, or uh, sometimes even people you know, on YouTube and things like that, the concept here, the idea, is to make sure that you have provide lots of support underneath and above the pick. Um, this is basically what it, that was my guitar, what it looks like. Um, so I hope that this is showing up okay on the camera. I'm just going to kind of take this apart. So it's, it's essentially that. So you're, you're, you're going like, like this with your finger, placing the fat part of the pick on top, thumb on top. Okay, now you don't, uh, you don't squeeze it or do any of that stuff. Really, it's the weight, it's the support uh, on both sides, the weight of the fingers even, that just holds it in place. It's nice and loose and natural. Um, it's sort of like you're holding your hand, you know, kind of out, and you're just, you're just going like that. That's it, okay? And the tip of the pick is automatically facing your strings. Um, so, I mean, granted, I mean, I see lots of people doing all sorts of things. Um, uh, things like this, for example. Um, I, I don't know. I can't think now that the camera's on, right? But, but, um, but millions of different, uh, different things. And the, the biggest problem that I encounter, especially with guys that have been playing for a long time, just kind of by themselves, is they, they tend to have a different grip for every different activity that they do in the instrument. So if they're strumming, maybe they hold it like, like this. If they're playing some uh, individual notes, I don't know, they're doing some kind of weird thing that they've got worked out so they don't drop the pick. Truth is, is there's one grip. Uh, so I just employ this. I just do this, whether I'm, you know, strumming away, um, or if I'm just just doing some, you know, straight on picking. It's nice and simple, okay? So one more time, like this, like so, thumb on top. One, two, three, okay? And uh, I'll just leave you with one more thing. When you do strum, or, you know, you're making contact with your strings, um, for guitar players, this doesn't go for my mandolin students, um, you're making contact fairly, pretty much with the tip, okay? Straight on, straight on the money. Don't angle it, okay? You get a scratchy kind of sound. Uh, don't angle it this way, okay? Um, I know that with bluegrass players, there are varying opinions on this, but especially to get started, nice and straight on the money like that, okay? Unless you're doing it on purpose. You know, and you're trying to get some kind of uh, some kind of effect. Otherwise, it's pretty flat. Okay. Hope that helps.